At the very end of a summer that was all too short, the old man I was living with passed away. Even after all the years we spent together, I never knew his name. Later that evening, I dug a shallow grave in the front yard of our home and buried him there. At that moment, I was truly alone in the world. Hmm. Maybe I'll find something he left behind. It's so dark I can hardly see. If I crank open the dome, then I can let in some moonlight. I've always wondered what this weird box was. It looks like a mirror, but... Look, it's...
stubborn little things. I thought they were all dead, but I see at least one survived. Who's there? Who are you? How'd you get in here? Why should I answer? Such a useless creature. What... What are you? I do not have to answer to you. By the time you read this, I'll already be gone. Before, I, I never considered myself worthy of living. And yet, I knew not even death could atone for my sins. You have no idea how hard it was for me to even write you this letter. It's strange, really for having wasted so much of my life. Now that the end is finally in sight, I never dreamed I'd feel like this. Only the time I spent with you gave meaning to my worthless life. Only now do I regret that I didn't open my heart to you more. Why is it, as I say goodbye, that I'm brimming with so many things I wish I could have said to you. Please forgive this foolish old man. Head east of here, and you will reach a tall red tower. I can't promise, but there you might find other survivors besides yourself. When I am gone, you must go east. Now go. And Seto. And Seto. Thank you for everything. <laughs>